Hello and welcome to Weekly News Highlights with me, Hasina Mumtaz. Here are your top stories for this week. On Wednesday, the leading Bangladeshi TV station in Bangladesh, the UK and Europe, NTV, celebrated its 11th year anniversary. The celebrations took place simultaneously at NTV's headquarters in the UK and around the world in places such as Bangladesh, Australia and Saudi Arabia. In London, hundreds of guests made up of prominent members of the British Bangladeshi community gathered at NTV studios in Bow in East London to enjoy a day and evening of fun, performance, song and dance. The event was hosted by CEO of NTV Sabrina Hussain and Director of NTV Mr Mustafa Sharwar. Representatives from the field of politics, business, the media and entertainment came to wish the channel well and take part in the celebrations. The festivities were broadcast live throughout the UK. Guests included the former High Commissioner to Bangladesh, Anwar Chowdhury, Baroness Paula Uddin, Labour mayoral candidate John Biggs and Executive Mayor of Tower Hamlets, Lutful Rahman. On Saturday, the elections for the Mayor and Councillor posts of Ghazipur City Corporation concluded and candidates now eagerly await the results of these elections. Earlier in the morning, hundreds of people came out of their homes to vote in what has become a crucial battle for pride for both the ruling party and the opposition bloc. Many of the voters queued up at the polling stations long before 8am when voting officially began. On Friday, the Acting Secretary General of the BNP, Mirza Fakhrul Islam Alomgir, accused the government of rigging these elections using black money and with the aid of criminals. He said, the government is planning to rob votes in Ghazipur and that's why it doesn't want the army deployed there as per our demand. He said this at a discussion organised by the Shwadinata Forum at the capital's Jatia Press Club. During the elections, more than 11,000 law enforcers, including members of the Border Guard of Bangladesh and RAB, were deployed to ensure that voting was carried out safely and in a peaceful manner during the first ever Ghazipur City Corporation elections. Ghazipur is the largest city corporation in terms of size and is seen as a crucial territory for the elections because of this and also because the ruling government candidates have lost miserably to their opposition-backed rivals in last month's elections in Barishal, Kulna, Rajshahi and Silat City Corporations. In total, during these elections for the five city corporations, the authorities deployed a total of about 20,000 law enforcers. However, of that total, 11,000 law enforcers were deployed in Ghazipur alone because of its importance due to the large number of voters. Eleven crew members of a Bangladeshi cargo ship went missing on Thursday after their vessel tilted in the Andaman Sea, which is located to the southeast of the Bay of Bengal. The MV Hope ran into trouble early on Thursday in rough seas, some 30 nautical miles off Phuket in southern Malaysia. As the ship started tilting, all the 17 crew members, all hailing from Bangladesh, abandoned it with lifeboats, fearing it might capsize. It's believed that the cargo being carried by the ship shifted to one side of the vessel due to rough sea conditions, and this may have caused the ship to tilt. The rescue mission still continues in the search for survivors. The Awami League government this week announced that during the upcoming month of Ramadan, there would be an extension of the ban on the sale of compressed gas for CNG vehicles. At present, CNG filling stations cannot sell compressed natural gas between 5pm and 9pm. On Thursday, the government's energy advisor, Tofiq Al Elahi Chaudhry, said, during the first 26 days of Ramadan, filling stations would not be allowed to sell gas between the extended hours of 3 p.m. and 5, 9 p.m. He said that the move is aimed at diverting more gas to households and power plants. That rounds off our coverage of the top stories for this week. Thank you for watching. Please do join me again at the same time next week. Allah Hafiz.